Standard uh, with that top ten finish. Talk a little bit about what you were thinking at the beginning of the race, what was going through your mind from the weather to just the whole scene, uh, and a little bit in race, sort of where your head was at. It sort of got away from everyone, um, you know, as uh, Workdesk sort of took it out at mile five and just sort of, sort of, sort of took it on her own. What, what, what were you thinking, and, and, and what did you think from the beginning to the end? Where this was going to end up for you? Yeah, that was, um, gosh, I mean, the weather has been kind of the curveball all week, and you kind of have your fingers crossed for it being cold, nasty, wet. Uh, the whole thing, like last year, I was like, bring that on and ready for that, and then it turned. Um, but actually, we're warming up, and it was kind of funny to see people be totally over prepared in jackets and the whole thing. Like, it, it's actually pretty warm out here, um, so. Obviously, took a took a turn and was pretty favorable out there, and actually on the warm side, if anything. So, um, yeah, that, that wasn't a total factor in, in the outcome of the race. Early on, seeing Dikafa go out, it, you know her ability, you know what she's done in Dubai, and um, you wonder how it translates to this course. But when she starts putting down those super quick miles, you say, all right, this is her race to lose. She becomes the outlier, and you just let her go and hope that she might come back. Um, it was pretty surprising how much racing we were doing very early on. It was, do we cover it? And then there was two women who were, had kind of bridged that gap, and you know the, the chase group picked them back up. And there was just a lot of really interesting moves and tactics going on in the first half. And um, I went through a rough patch a lot of rough patches, but 8 to 15, I, it was kind of like, I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough luggage in to get to the end of this. Is you know, I'm, I'm burning too many matches in the early part of the race. Um, and I was, you know, I was certainly getting involved in the race myself and making a few moves here and there. So it was fun, but it's also, you know, what the marathon is and you always respect the, the distance and the course. And that was weighing on the back of my mind as we got into the back half um, where the challenges are. So um, it was a... Uh, Aggressive day for uh, Before I open it up, just a question for you about the crowd. Um, obviously, you know, you're, you, you've changed as a, as a major personality here in Boston. Was it different along the course as you were running? Did you did you hear the crowd? Did, did, what, did it feel different just being Des and the defending champ? It looked like on TV that as you 